wanted to show you guys some still pictures of uh, the seedlings uh, that have been coming along so much better now that I've changed the soil. Um, that cheap soil definitely um, hindered my growth and leaf production and um, fighting the aphids and the fungus gnats. And so the soil definitely makes the difference. Um, the new potting soil I picked up at Walmart, um, seedlings are popping up in a couple days and they are growing fast. And, um, you know, all the frustrations and the lost time was definitely due to the bad soil. And so it makes all of the difference. So I just put names on several so that you guys could see them. Hi guys, it's Christina with the Geocache family. And I can hope you can hear me over my birds. But um, I'm in the living room working today. Um, we just finished the front raised beds and I'm going to plant my seedlings that are cold hardy that I started inside um, tonight when it cools down a little bit. But now I have been um, slicing my potatoes to let them scab up so that I can get them planted. Uh, this is our first year doing this variety, which they call all blue, um, but it is so pretty. Uh, when you first cut it, I mean, it was just a vibrant purple. And they're already scabbing up quick, but oh, so pretty. And then I've got the Yukons back here. And then I've got red seeds back there. And um, in here, and these are the ones that I grew last year. This is all that made it. <laughs> um, so they're going to be seed potatoes. And then these are the ones that we were store-bought that have sprouted that I'm going to go ahead and plant. So they are all scabbing up so that I can take them outside. Then I'm getting ready to um, put these guys into um, different trays um, and um, transplant them. Um, they're, they're struggling. Um, and I'm going to replant um, all of these varieties here. So um, I just want to change up the soil and start over. Um, these guys kind of, they're catching back up. They're doing much better. But the rest of them I, I lost or they're just, they're not doing good. So um, I'm going to go dump all of that. And then these guys are doing good too. So I want to put them into bigger, bigger things. And then um, I've got corn soaking so I can plant that in the tray down here. I've got okra soaking so I can put in this tray right here. And then I'm going to do a few daisies and then um, start some more peppers and tomatoes and eggplants because they were kind of sickly. So I'm going to start them over um, in the hopes that it's warmer now and, and they don't struggle as much. So while the kids are working on their school, um, as that is my project. So I, I got my various beans soaking so that I can get them planted today. So these are ones that my son brought back from when he was doing his um, one day a week public school day called Christmas beans. Um, and they're just a lima bean, but they're just beautiful. So I'm going to plant some of those. And I have two of those because they swelled up so big. And then I have, um, these are the noodle beans. Uh, they get the really long, yard-long beans. And then I have, um, uh, these are uh, three different types of bush beans that I, I've got in here. Uh, and so I'm going to put these in my little towers outside and then around the yards. And then um, this one was the Scarlet Runner beans. I, I couldn't remember which one was which. Um, so these ones are the Scarlet Runner beans. So, and then these are just different types of bush beans. So I'm going to get those planted today. And then um, let me show you in the kitchen. All right, so I upgraded my watering um, thing that I had. Um, I have a three gallon one and uh, it is kind of not holding the pressure like it used to um, when I'm doing my vitamins. And so um, I decided to go ahead and do the backpack one just because I have so many plants um, and it controls the spray so much better. Um, the only thing is it's um, hard to get on your back if it's completely full. And so um, I either have to only do it halfway or three gallons and then put it on the table to get it on my back or somebody's gotta help me get it on because it's so heavy. 
Um, but anyway, it's been working great. It's been helping me mist everything on the shelves so much better now because um, it's an even spray. And so uh, I moved everybody into boxes so that I can pull them out and water them easier. Um, and of course, it's time to do it again this morning. But um, everything is going great. Uh, so the okra I had just shown you in the previous one has already sprouted. Um, they're doing really great. They need water again, of course. Um, I still need to up pot these flowers here. Um, seedlings down here, I have daisies coming up and it looks like that's about it so far. And then the corn. And that video um, was done about four or five days ago. But look at how fast it's grown already. Uh, this tray, I don't know if my dogs ate it or um, what happened, but some of them aren't coming up right. Um, but I think because of this here, I still have enough that will take each of those cells that I don't need to replant, and I can just put these guys outside. But they are looking fantastic. Um, this tray I almost lost. Um, I had asked a child link to water, and I verified several times you did get it right yes yes and she hadn't and so a lot of my purple uh, dark opal basil um, didn't make it um, this is my sweet basil so that one's okay and some of the cilantros so I may do some more cilantros but these guys still need to be up potted as well uh, this one made me happy uh, this was the lavender and I didn't think I got any of it to germinate, but it's doing great. These guys were the forget-me-nots that we planted in honor of Evan. And um, we also did the marigolds for him. Uh, the marigolds got put outside already. Uh, my petunias that I did from seed are already starting to bloom. So this one's already several days old. Um, where's the other one? I had a pink one too. Oh, she's at the very, very back. Let me see if I can get back here so you guys can see how pretty she is. Look at her. Oh, it just makes me feel so good that I did that. <laughs> uh, nasturtiums are finally catching back up now that they got into bigger pots. And the borage is starting to look good finally now that I got it out of that gross soil. It's doing great. I have two boxes of the borage. And then the artichokes are starting to catch back up finally too. So, I, I got artichoke from seeds. <laughs> um, these are my Aunt Molly's ground cherries and they are happier now that they've gotten into a bigger uh, thing as well. So, these are the peppers that were in that tray in the previous um, segment that were struggling, so I don't know if they're gonna make it. This one looks rough, that one kinda looks rough. Um, but a couple of them did kinda pop back up, so I might have saved them. So I'm still going through and downsizing some of the tomatoes um, because they uh, just look rough. Um, and I don't need this many. And uh, because of the fighting with the uh, stupid uh, fungus gnats and the aphids. I don't want to sell these. Um, so I'm going to chalk it up to a learning year. But um, I have, these are the mortgage lifters. So this, these two rows of mortgage lifters. And these guys are catching up. So I am still going to give them some different soil if I can get to it today. Um, these are my Roman speckled pole in this row. These guys are my crimson cushion beefsteaks. And this is a yellow pear. And the Abe Lincolns are the ones that did the worst. So I don't even know if I'm gonna try and fight with this guy, but these two seem to be doing okay. The ones that are doing really great are the um, brandy wines. So this whole row is red brandy wines. And then this row is the um, black brandy wines. And then uh, these guys back here were the Cherokee purples. So that row. And then I did go ahead and buy um, the sun golds because my sun golds didn't make it. So I've got uh, one sun gold cherry, 
one pear, yellow pear cherry, um, and what were the other two? I got one Tabasco plant that I bought, and I bought Aroma. So, and then I got this, because this was just beautiful. It looks a lot like the lamb's ear, but it's not. Um, Dusty Miller is what it's called. I just loved it. It was beautiful. So, everybody seems to be doing um, fairly well now that we've moved them around um, down here. I did lose my uh, amaranth, so I'll start a few more of those here. Um, those are my delphiniums, so I got three of those. And then, um, let's see, what was this one? This is the alyssum, my dill, the sage is in the back, so those are all sages. Um, these are yellow basil, the lemon basil. These are my daughter's snapdragons. Um, that is my mint. That is my baby parsley. And then all of my different gourds and uh, squashes are all down there. Um, some of those are actually going to go to my friends uh, this weekend because uh, it's way more than what I need. But um, hey, free plants, you can't beat it. So, we're waiting one more week to put the rest of these flowers outside, and then um, I am pretty much done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start some sunflowers inside just so that I can put them where I want them. I did go ahead and plant uh, some of them out front, um, just kind of around the various spots, but... Um, we worked hard yesterday. Uh, we did get rain last night, which was freaking amazing. Um, I definitely needed it. <sighs> the zinnias, I gotta try and get them planted today. But I'm getting all kinds of pretty little colors on them. So these were the ones I started inside. They were fighting the aphids and the fungus gnats really bad. Um, I brought them outside and just kind of said, you know what, you guys gotta make it happen. Um, and they're doing okay. So, um, they're starting to darken back up. They had gotten so pale. Good morning, Ogie. She's making your breakfast, honey. Um, so I got these guys. My soft lamb's ear. And then I thought these guys were sunflowers, but these are uh, zinnias that were reseeded. I've got that little one in there. And that one blooming, so that's beautiful. We went ahead and put the cardboard down. Um, I'm going to have to kind of relay everything because obviously we had wind last night. Um, but um, I want to get some straw on top of it just to kind of help hold it down. The kids did go ahead and put some staples down, um, but it definitely was not quite enough. We did get pansies and the marigolds that we planted in Evan's name. Um planted yesterday so they're along there and around that. I have a vinca vine coming up so that was pretty exciting. The one that I keep thinking is a columbine that had three buds on it. Stupid cat sat on it yesterday when he was walking so he uh, busted it off so now I'm gonna have to wait even longer to see if I'm right. <sighs> these guys out of the way so they're not killing my babies yeah the wind definitely pulled some of them up but everybody's just getting so big it's pretty cool this may be a futile battle with how much wind we get here but look at how beautiful Oh, my babies. So that my little guys can start popping up more and they're starting to really look good. That's the spinach from that row. Alright, so I still got to get my onions that I started from seed planted so that's that little flat 
and oh my goodness look at these snap peas like how happy is that I cannot wait until they are actually climbing this trellis so cool so if we get enough straw in here and it gets wetted down I think it will help dramatically okay so I added marigolds into each of the corners I may end up um, starting some more of those too because I love the way marigolds smell and uh, they're easy plant to grow hard to kill too so and everybody looked like they did really good nobody slouched over at all so that's awesome we um, planted the potatoes the purple ones are here and I'm gonna get some more straw to start mounting them up um, I got to eat two asparagus yesterday I call them the asparagus because it's cute and funny and why not <laughs> but they are definitely starting to pop up so I got the big one here there's one right behind it there's that really big guy right there two three four five and then there's three two or three underneath the hutch here so I've got that one there and those two there so if they can kind of keep coming towards the light if they fan out in front of this cage it'll look kind of pretty hey buddy are you playing today huh <laughs> all right and then we planted the rest of the cabbage so I had bought two store-bought ones and then everywhere that you see a popsicle stick um, this is the ones that I started from seedlings so there's one there so I think there's another eight of them there we'll see how they do um, I have some up front too and I still got to figure out how to get some netting over them I have the netting already um, but I wanted to wait until they were a little bit bigger before I started covering them um, I did give the girls some extra shade yesterday, so we did hang that, so um, they're not in so much heat, and they were very grateful, I think. I'm pretty sure they told me that in chickenies. So, and then all the rest of the potatoes I planted in here. And so I need to get some more straw to cover it a little bit more, but um, hi girls. I'm not sure if this guy made it or not. This is one of the sages that we moved from out front off of my big one because it was spreading it might be some of it died but these guys down here are still doing good so if I get that to live I will be happy um, I, I dug up the rest of them and I'm gonna put them in one of the big pots um, I think this rose my mom gave me I think I killed it I didn't plant it the first day she gave it to me it was a couple days later but uh, it should have been sleeping still but it is not coming up, so I don't know. It's still bending. It's not snapping, so maybe it's just taking its time. Um, but anyway, I have this, this pot back here. If I don't have to pull the rows, um, I can put the sage in here. I'll get rid of some of the sticks and uh, plant it in here, and I'll keep it in this corner um, because they draw bees uh, and they smell amazing. So, um, I think I will do that. So, anyway, that is pretty much what we did yesterday. Um, we, we got our first mild sunburns on our necks and cheeks and lips. Um, but, otherwise, it was a good day. So, um, I'm going to do more inside stuff today. Um, and then, hopefully get the straw. And then I can cover this stuff better so it'll hold down um, but it's it's starting I'm so excited I get the beans in maybe tonight I might do it this morning it shouldn't take me too long um, I'm gonna plant the the bush beans I think in that little smaller bed that's up there um, a few of them anyway and then the rest of them into the um, like the green stalks, but it's the knockoff dollar store version of it. <laughs> and then um, my noodle beans and the scarlet runners, I'm going to stick uh, in front. So 
anyway, and that's what we did. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, we thank you so much for following our journey and watching us grow as we go. Uh, thank you for being a part of our story. And uh, I pray you have a blessed day and we'll see you next time. Bye.